Hey everyone, welcome to group break number 411. We are doing the first of our 2023-24 Upper Deck Series 2 cases. So today we have one full case in 411, and then after this break, we'll have a half case for group break 412. Uh, but yeah, three times on the names, three times on the teams. This is just a straight up 32 team random. Who you line up with is who you get. Good luck, everyone. Again, hopefully the uh, dice falls in your... Uh, in your favor here. So let's go ahead and let's go to team random. Go to the list here. All right, copy and paste. Three times, once, twice, third time. Mike on top, Johnny on the bottom. And paste that in there. And really what matters is this part, teams, three times. Back over to here. Once, twice, third time, LA on top, Boston on the bottom. All right. Mike M with the LA Kings, Pierre Benoit with the Buffalo Sabres, Kevin W with the Washington Capitals, Frank with the Carolina Hurricanes, Sergio with the Leafs, Danny with the Canucks, Pierre Benoit with the Devils, Anthony with Seattle, Colin with Columbus, Glenn with Calgary, Danny with Philadelphia, Sergio with Pittsburgh, uh, Kenny with the Senators, Alexander with Tampa Bay, Kenneth with the New York Islanders, Tyler with the Jets, Glenn with the Stars, Tyler with the Coyotes, Ted, you have the Chicago Blackhawks. Congrats. Jason with the Rangers. Terrence with the Blues. Fotis with the Sharks. Frank with the Ducks. Uh, Harris with the Vegas Golden Knights. Kenneth with the Red Wings. Alexander with the Oilers. Bill with the Habs. Mark with the Predators. Ted with the Panthers. Johnny with the Wild. Uh, Anthony with the Avs. And Johnny with the Bruins. So there are your teams. I will get them into the team viewer. Give me one second here. Make sure they're all correct, but yeah. Uh, in terms of like card quantity, Edmonton is actually one of the best teams in this product because you're getting at least 10 McDavid inserts in this product, probably close to like 13, 14. Well, probably at least, I would say probably close to 12, maybe 13, 14. That's probably fair to say. All right, I'm just gonna make sure the team list is okay. And then we will, uh, be good to go here, but it should be fine. Uh, Chicago is the main one. Carolina, Toronto is correct. Winnipeg, Florida, let's go San Jose. All right, looks good. Yeah, hopefully everyone's having a good day. Hopefully everyone's having a fun release day. Um, I it's been. It's been fun. Uh, it's obviously this product is super risky. Uh, it's it's pretty much Bedard or bust. Um, so, you know, it's not always the. Uh, I I like I in that being said, I do like some of the other rookies. I really like Zach Benson. I think Leo Carlson is a very very good player. I just don't think he has quite that upside. Um, all right, so there we go. There are the teams. So again, we made this. So the team viewer, if you haven't been in a break in a little bit, change it up. And also it's a little bit, um, you know, hidden behind there. So Bobby McMahon, I think is actually a really good example of a sell now player in this set. Um, I think he just, the one thing, the reason why I think he is a sell now player is the fact that he is kind of a, he doesn't have a large like history of scoring a lot throughout his entire career. His best offensive season was last year in the AHL at a 27 year old as a 27 year old. And at that age, in order to be an effective NHLer, you expect them to be putting up points. So it's one of those just like, yeah, he went on a hot streak, but I think he's going to net out as a like third line bottom six forward type of player. He might get moved. He might get elevated here and there. But for the most part, his upside is limited, just in my opinion. 
you can disagree. That's the part of prospect rankings that's always fun. Yeah, here's the case, fully sealed. All the cases have these tape flap this year, so. Actually, it makes it easy to, I don't even need the box cutter. <laughs> that probably just destroyed your ears, but. It's nice not needing the box cutter. Nice, ben yeah, Benson I would say, so like for upside in this set, I'd say Benson's probably like your second best forward for that. There's all the boxes. Let them fall down gently. And then this bottom right box should always, oh, it's not backwards, all right. All right, pretty much every product that's come out lately has had that bottom right box be backwards for some reason. Or upside down. So we're empty. My office is full of cardboard. <laughs> so here are the boxes. Um, yeah, I am very excited about this set. It's it's a lot of fun to open up. Obviously, again, super risk reward, but um, it is it's a fun time to be a fan of sports cards and hockey cards in general. Um, I know there is someone who like kind of challenged that a little bit, saying how cheap box prices were in previous years. But I also think that's kind of why it's also a good time because. You know, if you're priced out of these products, there's still really good deals to be had on previous boxes. We actually have a good sale going on right now on our site as well, if you're interested in that. A um, little bit of a plug there, but yeah. Uh, and I should also mention that uh, we still have our raffle ongoing for series two. If you are looking to purchase hobby boxes, blasters, or tins, um, go check out our site, zephyrepic.com. If you're if you're new to the channel or um, and feel free to enter it, you get a chance to win or a chance to purchase boxes that way. We did it that way just because that way you don't have to be, you know, sitting at your computer at 10 o'clock or on your phone to, you know, rapidly hit refresh to try and buy a box. Um, it's just I think we found one of the most fair ways to kind of divvy out boxes during kind of all the craze during the pandemic. So um really good lesson and i think it just you know it's it's fair it's again it gives everyone a shot and yeah so all right here we go first box i want to keep a couple of the boxes to the side because i want to try and eventually build a little bit of a back wall there and i might just use boxes for now um there was something that I was gonna get here and I forget exactly what it was. Oh no. All right, and if at any point my voice becomes a little bit raspy, it is just because my tonsils don't like me. So, oh, as a focus, that's what I was gonna get. Uh, all right, back to break view because having the uh, cards in focus would probably be a good idea at this point. All right. Uh, there. All right, that should be good, as long as it didn't break anything. Cool. All right, let me get my tier list up just so I have access to it. And here we go. All right, what are we starting off with? Uh, instinctive of Jacob Markstrom for the Flames. So. I love the insert sets this year. They're really, really nice. Uh, black and white canvas of Garland for the Canucks. Garland for the Canucks. And well, hey, it ain't the like big card, but Bedard portraits. We'll take it. One for one, one pack, one Bedard. Uh, we'll top load and save the black and white canvases. Uh, just some like data too from the two cases that we've done for like sports card singles. Um, is that you generally get about 50 on a roll. I think it's like 22 portraits, 39 canvases, uh, three black and white canvases. You're not guaranteed. One of the biggest changes this year is that you're not guaranteed a young gun black and white canvas anymore. Um, you are, um, yeah, you're, you're not guaranteed one. So they're a little bit, a little bit tougher to hit. All right, back to Bergeron on the PCs. 
Deep Roots, I like these cards, especially the bottom texture. It's really cool. Latang and Samuel Nash Knashko for the Columbus Blue Jackets. I believe it's Knashko. I know I've seen um, Nashko before, but I think it's Knashko. Uh, Jack Hughes on the Ecliptic Sparkle. So this is the parallel. Um, it's like it's like the violet pixels texture from OPG Platinum, if you're familiar with that. Beauvillier on the canvas for the Canucks. And Forrester on the Honor Roll. This uh, opened up a few boxes with my wife just getting the stuff for singles prepped. And that John Gibson jump scared her a few times, so... It's going to be one of those cards whenever I see it, I'm going to be happy. Ooh, all right. All right. You know what? We'll take it. Clay Stevenson Deluxe to 250 for the Capitals. Uh, is he the biggest name in this set? No. Real sleeper potential. He's my number one. He's my number one sleeper uh, in this entire set. So um, nice to get the Deluxe of him. And he hasn't actually played an NHL game. But he has not posted below a 916 save percentage in his entire career since a while. So uh, Bobrovsky on the instinctive and Bobby McMahon on the young guns. I think this is going to be one of the hottest ones to start with of the secondary market. Man, you're going to get so many Columbus cards. <laughs> They've got six young guns on the checklist and like... I like Sposal, I like Voronkov, I like Nashko, but they're just, you know, the the one that you really want any card of is just not in the set. So, Ecliptic of Drysdale, or Drysdale, Drysdale, uh, Yossi on the Deep Roots, and Nice on the Honor Roll. So, but yeah, that's, I mean, hey, good box one, Deluxe Young Gun, and Bedard Portraits. It's a pretty good box. Veneers? With an Emerson Young Gun. And, ooh, man, I, this is, so this is the third case I've opened up. Uh, all three cases have had a Simone Gagne program of excellence, I'm pretty sure. Uh, so Team Canada cards, how they work, they go to either, if they're an active player, their current team, if they're a retired player, they go to their most games played, just because, again, it is a Team Canada card. I believe Gagne is the Flyers. Um, but let me double check. We'll use hockey reference. I believe he is the Flyers. Yeah. Oh yeah. By far the Flyers, uh, 691 games versus like 63 in Tampa. So, <laughs> oh, I, there we go. Sorry about that. Decided to drag and click my mouse and pull up the entire break screen. Actually, I wonder if I can just lock this into place. Ah, that's smart. Should have done that before. Got an outburst coming up here. Uh, director of boards of AJ Greer. Hammond Actel for the Capitals and a Colin Blackwell on the outburst silver. Blackwell on the outburst. So yeah, outburst looked the same as last year. The Dazzlers look so much nicer with that deeper blue. Really, really happy they went with that foil. Monster season of McDavid for the Oilers. So there's a hundred or sorry, 82 card set. I think the gold parallels are actually gonna be pretty popular because completing that set would be pretty cool. Crosby on the Ecliptic and Kopanen for the Bruins on the honor roll. So if you're waiting for group break number 412, it'll depend on how quickly we get through this, given that it's 430 right now. I think it'll take us about an hour and a half. So uh, Caulfield on the PCs. There we go. Mintukov on the young gun. That's another good one. That's another good one. I like him a lot. Panarin on the canvas. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that's going to be pretty popular to collect, especially the golds, because like 
very, very cool season. Also really funny that it's in the same set that like Bedard's in. So it's like, here's what you have to live up to. Ottinger for the stars, Forsberg on the deep roots and Shifley on the portraits. This Makar, like that's one of those faces that's just, you know, when they did like who has the most punchable face thing, if people were to see that card in the NHL, I think he would be up there. Yeah, here's that here's that nice blue dazzlers, and it's a blue on blue too. They look so much better. Point for the bolts, uh, PCs of Sebastian Ajo and Laferriere on the young guns. Uh, worth noting that the dazzlers do have a little bit more edge shipping issues this year. Uh, actually, the heavy foil cards seem to have a little bit of struggle, but this one seems okay at first glance. So let's leave and topple them as we go. But yeah, I love the deeper blue this year. Just subtle change. Sometimes it's those subtle changes that just turn out really nice. So, all right, well, solid box one. Young Gun Deluxe, uh, Bedard Portraits, Sparkle PCs of Eric Carlson, Mort Sider on the canvas for the Red Wings, and Marco Casper for the Red Wings. So there we go, solid box one. Is it the best? No. Is it the worst? Also, no. And anytime you hit like, anytime you really hit a young gun parallel, it's, I feel like it's a good box, even if it's a bad young gun parallel, just cause they're so rare to get. Um, obviously you hope for exclusives or deluxe or exclusives or high glosses or out oh, like outburst reds. Man, if we, Whoever ends up pulling the outburst one of one, congratulations. I wonder how much of this is actually going to be ripped in the upcoming days. And if we'll see it in the first week. Um, I would say it's the highest hockey card bounty that we've ever had. So at least to my knowledge for a single, like a modern single, um, I feel like someone is going to, yeah, I feel like someone's going to hit it and probably just keep quiet about it more. So just to like get their ducks in a row, Jack Hughes for the devils brain point for the bolts and Brock Faber for the wild. Cause like you're going to get a lot of attention and some people might not like having that much attention. So Carlson with, uh, I think it's Patia, might be Pusha, but for the Columbus Blue Jackets. And Desnoyers on the Young Gun Canvas for the Flyers. Base cards on the rest. Other thing I'm gonna be curious about with this set is the population count ones and hopefully they fix their issues of previous years. Um, we have a Mark on the instinctive and black and white canvas of Gaudreau for Columbus. That's two black and white canvases down. Those are kind of case hits. Sfozo on the honor roll. Yeah, that, that's the real worry, right? Like, but then you also get into like lawsuit territories and that actually be a Probably a pretty big one. Monster season of McDavid for the Oilers. Um, Cause that's just literally fraud. So, hey, I, I hope we pull it in a break, honestly. Kaprizov for the Wild, Lacombe for the Ducks. That would be pretty sick. Um, I'm not sure how we'd handle shipping that. I honestly, I wouldn't want to ship that card. It would be, uh, I'd have to, I'd have to work that out. Um, but I'd try and figure out something a little bit more creative than just shipping the card. Uh, McEwen on the uh, director of boards, Damon Hunt. Man, that PD canvas is great. Like, nice PD there. That's one more like, you want to almost get it out of your possession as soon as possible because you don't have the risk of owning that card anymore. So 
It's a really weird situation. Ovechkin on the PCs, Deep Roots of Backland for the Flames, and Dufour for the Islanders. You know, like... You wouldn't want to have that at a show anywhere because if someone really wants to smash and grab, that's a real easy target. Kyrie for the Blues, Kucherov for the Bolt, and Svozil. Yeah, yeah, that'd be one where it'd be like I, I would I would actually encourage flying out, <laughs> which would be it's really weird to say that, you know, Robertson for the stars, Red Wings, Kubelik and Kopitar Kings on the portraits. Uh, Vejmelka for the Yotes, uh, Matt Tompkins and Jake Allen on the regular outburst. Uh, another note, I don't think I mentioned this in the break notes or at the start of the break, but uh, I am going to try to turn these around as quickly as possible. Uh, I'm going to stay up as late as I can tonight to sort them. Also, as a reminder that um, each spot comes with a team set of base cards. So just the typical release week thing that we try and do for these sets, line A on the Dazzlers. Oh yeah, like that's one that you actually have to hire security for. It's like, yeah, we kind of got a higher security. Uh, Instinctive of Stuart Skinner and Joel Teasdale for the Habs. Teasdale is a group D. By the way, I actually am looking to pick up a couple cards from this set. I'll probably end up finding them on eBay, but the, uh, the Brendan Morrison Program of Excellences probably on my actual want list for once. I have want lists in a set. <laughs> Director of Boards of Ryan Reeves, Jake DeBrusque on the canvas, and Peltier. Well, that's a pretty good pull. Monster Seasons goal of Connor McDavid to 153. This one does not have that bad of edge chipping either, at least at first glance. So the first one we pulled today did. Uh, this is 118 of 153. They're numbered. So again, if you're unfamiliar with this set, essentially it is a 82 card set that is dedicated to his 153 point season. The gold parallels, they look absolutely beautiful. Um, and then there's uh, Eichel and hey, wow, what a pack. Leo Carlson Young Guns too. Um, the parallels are number two, 153 for each of them, just for each of his points. Pretty cool set. Honestly, I like the concept behind it. It is a little bit like Crosby's diary of a phenom in a 506 series too. But I like it. It's cool. It's different. I respect it. But yeah, what a pack there. Kind of was a bit of a dud box until the end, and then you get really good young gun and monster season gold. I will be curious to see what those end up selling for. Because you can only put together 153 sets. There's a lot of McDavid collectors out there. They look nice. I just don't know how it'd look in a display at all. So that's the other reason I'm other thing I'm curious about. Because there are some landscape cards. So I wish they were almost all vertical, but then again, it'd be 41. So be curious to what it looks like mapped out. We have a clear cut here. Maybe not. Oh, maybe we do. Uh, director of boards of Josh Brown, Ilya Samsonov on the clear cut, and Will Cooley on the honor roll. Samsonov clear cut. Cooley on the honor roll. All right. P. 
PCs of Larkin, Deep Roots of Riley, and Veronkov. One of the probably the best Columbus Blue Jacket young gun in this set in terms of like pop off potential, but yeah. He's no Fantilli. He's I have him as the eighth best player on in terms of just like potential upside, but yeah. Uh Vejmelka on the Eclipse or Instinct of Sparkles, Mercer, and Jack Hughes for the Devils. I wonder who's gonna be lucky enough to pull that dual canvas signature. Ooh! Population count 500 of Cole Caulfield for the Habs. That's not bad. 500. Better than, uh, better than some of the, you know, better than a thousand. Logan Thompson and Archer's Seelovs. So, uh, I think based off of, again, I've only opened up two cases so far. But it seems like you get two deluxes and one exclusives per case. If that holds up, the print runs probably like for hobby specifically, it's probably in like the 20,000 case range. So, Ecliptic of Pasternak, Sagan on the Deep Roots, and a Finisea for the Predators, which is, it sounds like a lot, and because it, mean, it is a lot, but. Uh, McKinnon with a Luke Phillip and a Jackson Lacombe Young Gun Canvas. Well, I'll be curious to see what happened or like what ends up happening. Uh, there are some of the same like tiny little roller marks in the top. It's not horrible. Is it the best? No, but like just something to keep in mind. I won't call it out every single time. But just thought it's worth noting. And then in terms of Easter eggs, there are Fanimations. We're going to try and put together because there's no one else that really does like Easter egg or like Easter egg checklists anymore. So we're going to try and put one together for you. But uh, Connor Hellebuck on the instinctive. Uwis Belinskis and Ty Emerson is our first outburst young guns for the San Jose Sharks. Emerson, I put in the C minus tier just because I don't think he has upside. But I think he's got legit NHL potential. So... That's a sharp top loader. From there, Balinskis, I put in D tier, just because I kind of where I think he belongs. Um, not a ton of upside, which is fine. Not everyone's going to be like an absolutely insane prospect. But man, it, what a set this would have been if Cooley and Fantilli were both in here. Monster Season of McDavid. This is where he tallied four points in a win against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Ecliptic of the Artemi Panarin. And Tyler Clevin on the honor roll for the Senators. There's that McCarr looking at you. Man, I love the new format change. It's so much nicer opening up boxes and packs. Uh, Stutzla with a Matthew Poitras for the Bruins and a Taylor Radish canvas for Chicago. There's the Radish canvas based on the rest. Three packs to go in box three. So, so far, Poitras, uh, Carlson, two kind of big names off our board. Capo Kakinen on the Instinctive, Cam Fowler on the Deep Roots, and Askarov on the Honor Roll. Dazzlers for Haggy for the Panthers. Um, how's this one doing? This one's definitely got a rougher bottom edge. So, Just be warned that is a common thing with them. So far, uh, Makar, and hey, uh, first Young Gun checklist between Chicago and Anaheim. As per usual, how we do the Young Gun checklist is that if we get two, both people will get one. If we end up with like, say, a clear cut and a base one, we'll random off the better one. The loser will get the worst one. Um, just the fairest way to do those. 
If we get three, both people will get one and we'll random off one. If we get two and like, you, you, you'll kind of get the, get the idea of it. Once we do the random, it's pretty straightforward. It's just the fairest way to do them. So yeah, uh, ecliptic on the sparkles of Kaprizov, Schwartz for the Kraken and Bullduke for the Islanders. All the team base sets are ready to go. Did those, did those today. That was a lot of work for some of them. There's like a couple base cards that were tough to, tough to find. So uh, let me go ahead and let's shrink down the insert stack here. Oh, that's a perfect amount. So. Alrighty. I'm going to throw on the teams just for a second here. There we go. I'm just going to get a quick sip of water. There we go. God, if someone looks through my recycling bin, they're gonna be like, how much did this guy, like how many boxes did this guy open up? <laughs> Not enough. Not enough. Uh, ooh, first fluorescence. Jack Hughes with a Matt Murray fluorescence. These are really, really nice. Kind of a shame that, um, Bedard's not in them because that red on red ooh, would have looked phenomenal. Oh, I'll put that to the side for recap. Kadri on the portraits. But yeah. Hopefully they add them in extended. I think extended is going to be a really solid product this year, honestly. Liam O'Brien, Deep Roots of McDavid, and Laf Raphael Lavoie. I almost said Raphael Lavoie. Uh, another. I have them in the C plus range. I probably could have put them higher. Um, one of those players that if he gets playing time with McDavid, he's going to pop off probably, maybe, hopefully. So. And again, that's going to hold true for like specific teams. Uh, Ecliptic Sparkles of Austin Matthews, Rupe Hints, and Cole McWard. So Leafs, Stars, Canucks. I think... Uh, I think Lavoie is one of those players that like you'd like to see a little bit more at the NHL level, but um, yeah. Deep Roots Purple, so these are one per case of Backland for the um, Flames with a Barzell PCs and a Clay Stevenson's Young Gun. I do like the Deep Roots cards. They're different, but they're, um, they're cool. Bottom... Bottom left corner on that guy is not the best. Uh, we'll put that here. Yeah, Edmonton will be getting a stack of cards. Um, I just, I don't know what the monster seasons are gonna sell for right away. So I'll just leave and topple them all individually to start with. Um, if they do end up selling for pretty cheap, we'll, we'll probably just combo them. Kachekov and then Synced of Deep Roots of Shifley and Kellerman for the Yotes. But you can see why Edmonton is just like a pretty solid value team in this because you get all of your McDavid inserts and you have Lavoie who's like a young gun that's got upside in the product and like you're going to get cards, which is one of the best things. Like you're going to get cards of a really good player. So Matthews with a Emil Andre. Andre, I ha ooh, that's nice. That is the second time we pulled this guy. Wayne Gretzky for the Kings on the canvas. Um, you're going to see a lot of cards for Edmonton over the over the breaks. <laughs> Again, when you're getting 10 inserts of McDavid, like even if they're not the highest valued inserts, still going to be still going to be decent value. Demko with a Teasdale again and a Jake Gensel on the Yelper Silver. Where will he end up? 
Will he end up with the Canucks? Will he end up with the Hurricanes? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. Um, Monster Season of McDavid, Crosby, and Patera. Crosby for the Penguins, Patera for Vegas, McDavid for the Oilers. Tally three points to help the Edmonton to a thrilling 3-2 win over the Flames. By the way, that's what the back of them look like. Come on, we're we're getting to the point where we want to see a Bedard soon. Uh, Braden Point with a Beecher on the Young Guns and a Yanni Gord. Uh, Shesterkin with uh, Shabbat and Alinas Ulmerk. I one thing I haven't seen is any base image variations. Like I think I would have seen one by now. But. Uh, Tage Thompson, man, this is this is my favorite Dazzlers of the set. Uh, Zegers and Lucas Condotta. I haven't seen any base image variations though yet. Buffalo made that big trade today. Middle stat for Byram, one for one. Pretty, pretty spicy. Byram's definitely got the upside there. But like, Colorado really needs that center. And middle stat went from like kind of a meme. You know, used to be called middling stats, but uh, he's Pretty good the past couple years. Jack Hughes for the Devils, Flurry for the Wild, and Gunnett for the Senators. All right, next box down. That was probably our weakest box, I would say. But well, still got the Gretzky canvas, still got some cool stuff. Is it? It still should be good. Uh, let me. Uh, no, we're still we're still up on my end here. I'll just wait a couple minutes. Make sure that anyone that's having hiccups is good. Just wait a couple minutes here. Oh yeah, it looks like there is a, it looks like there, it looks like it was a Twitch thing. Um, Cause it did, it did look like it go down, but yeah, refresh if you refresh, if it's not working. Cause my the uptime thing here does say that it went down briefly, but on um at least the plugin on Twitch. Um but back end wise it's I haven't dropped a frame or anything, so all right. Let's keep going. All right, glad to see you back. So, could just be my internet acting up. Oh no, it did say it. Uh, it didn't pop up that it disconnected. That's weird. Normally it gives me like a big bright red flashing error. So I don't know. But that's why we have the recording still.
right, here we go. All right, Gustafson Lunau on the Young Guns. Kaprizov on the canvas. I need to figure out a better way to route this cable to my camera. I wish I had a right, like a right angle connector for it. <laughs> um, after the Gretzky, what happened after the Gretzky? What happened after the Gretzky? Uh, we got the Thompson Dazzlers, the Condota, I think was in there. But I think that was about it. it honestly, wasn't anything major. Uh, Delorier, Marner, McWard, Flyers, Leafs, Canucks. Valerie Nachushkin on the Dazzlers, Pashnak and Tyler Engel on the Young Guns. Engel. Nachushkin. But yeah. I don't know how valuable that Gretzky canvas is actually going to end up being. Be curious. Uh, Gibson for the Ducks. Condota and Mike Bossy. Wow. Pull them in all three cases. That's that's so like, what are the odds? Pulled Gretzky in two of them and the Bossy in three and the Gagne in I think all three as well. You know, it's one of those just like, I know there's like distribution and stuff, but it feels weird. Ooh, oh, this might be sick. To Foley for the Flames? Oh yeah, that is actually so cool. Maurice Richard, black and white canvas. That's like, it's rarer than a case hit. And that with the photo, that is an absolutely sick card. I don't know what its value is going to be, but like in terms of coolness factor, oh, that is up there. That is up there for the halves. That is such a cool card. This one of those ones just like from a collecting standpoint, absolutely love it. Evangelista on the honor roll. My CPU's doing weird things. All right, I think we're good. Uh, Samsonov, Wheeler, and Kesselring. I think it's good. I guess just my usage is really low for some reason. Normally, it's a little bit higher than like 1%, especially for recording. <laughs> I guess I figured out finally how to offload everything to my GPU properly. Uh-oh, we got the checklist coming up here. Uh, Ovechkin on the Sparkles PCs. Patterson and Nugent Hopkins on the Canvas checklist. Yuri Patera on the Honor Roll. Uh, same rules apply as the Bedard Carlson. We'll be randomed. But if we do get two somehow or like a black and white one, then uh, it won't be. Pink Dazzlers, Bo Horvat with a Felino and a Hunter Shepherd Young Guns. Base on the rest. Bo Horvat, Pink Dazzlers, Hunter Shepherd. Again, goalie that has like very good stats. Didn't do super well in his NHL stints, but um, like some backup potential there, you know? like 1B type guy, um, just that he's older, he's 28. So, and typical rules apply, you typically wanna see them playing at a higher level at that age. Stutzel on the ecliptic, Sebastian Ajo on the deep roots, and Askarov on the portraits. All right, here we go. Next box, so it'll be about 40 minutes for half a case. Uh, director of Board Sparkle of McEwen, 
Juno on the canvas, Kettleman for the Yotes on the honor roll. So 40 minutes from now, I would say the next break will start about 5.30, 5.45-ish. Somewhere's in there. All right, we have a Matthews with a Hugh McGing and a Pasta on the outburst. And last pack of box five. Honestly, big fan of that black and white canvas. They're not like just hitting a black and white canvas in general. They're not a case hit anymore. So cool pull there. But uh, McDavid on the monster season, Ecliptic of Svetch, and Clayton Keller for the Yotes on the portraits. Um, the fact that it's like a really old school photo. I don't know. It just adds to it. It just adds to the whole vibe. It's such a cool card. All right, here we go. Halfway point. Let's see if we can snag our first Bedard. Still need Benson, still need uh, Connor Zary, still need Mintukov, still need uh, Korchinski. So hopefully we start getting some of these. I will say in our case that we did hit two Bedards, uh, Eichel, Gutman, and uh, Deep Roots of Flyers, Hart. Um, the case that we got two Bedards, we also got two Leo Carlson's in, so if you're going to double up on those guys, probably a good one. Uh, Jack Hughes, Damian Giroux, and Arthur Silovs. Young Gun Canvas. Uh, I wonder if we'll see Dufour. Who else was in that? It was Dufour. It was, um, Zach Benson. Um... Who else? Uh, Lacombe. Yeah, Lacombe fits that one and we pulled him. So there's a chance we get a Zach Benson canvas here. Pro we'll probably see a Dufour Young Gun canvas. Right, that goes here. Uh, we got pieces of Carlson and a Truba on the clear cut with the Dustin Wolf on a roll. Uh, clear cut, and there. I think I put them up there, but still have our clear cut young gun left. Still probably have a deluxe and an exclusives. Monster season of McDavid versus Vegas. Vej Melka and Coronado. Uh, January 14th, 2023. Come on, top loader, cooperate. There we go. Yeah, interesting seeing that some of the uh, monster seasons are horizontal and others are vertical. Uh, Kirill Kaprizov with A, there he is, Zach Benson. Zach Benson on the young guns, that's a good one. And Jeremy Swayman on the canvas. Jeremy Swayman on the young gun canvas. Uh, Zach McEwen, Robert Thomas, and Nikita Nesterenko. Linus Olmark, Patrice Bergeron, and Tristan Lunau on the Young Guns. What else happened in trades? Yeah, the uh, the Flyers and Avalanche flipping, like the Sean Walker trade is pretty interesting, especially with Ryan Johansson immediately going on waivers. Honestly, $4 million for him. Could do better, could do worse, but 
I think they're hoping he gets claimed. Liam O'Brien on the Sparkles, director of boards, Aaron Eckblad for the Panthers, and Seth Jones for Chicago. And then to immediately, once that trade happens, it's like, oh, something's got to give in their decor. Like, there's no way they're keeping all those together. Kairou, Hunter Shepard, and a Rasmus Anderson on the uh, outburst. Uh, Dazzlers of Zabanajad with a PCs of Ovechkin and a Maxence Gunnett for the Senators. On the base, Young Guns. What else happened? And there is the um, Rasmus Sandin and Nick Seeler both got contract extensions. I think what else happened. Uh, Thatcher Demko on the Instinct of Sparkles. Kachuk for the Senators and Philip Forsberg. That mustache, though. Also, again, as per usual, if there are like one or two base cards you need to complete the base set, please let us know. Try and filter them into your uh, packages. Ooh, population count. So the second one. Of uh, Braden Point to 1,000. Point to 1,000. Maroon on the director of boards and Damon Hunt. So that is the halfway mark. Let me throw up the team viewer again. Team view. Boop. I'm going to go ahead and shrink the stacks down. Go and the inserts down. Go a quick sip of water. And probably stock up on some more card sleeves. Are my card sleeves? There they are. All right, halfway point. Let's go. Let's. Uh, it's time to hit Bedard now. It is time. We hit him in the very first pack, technically, but you know what I mean. Rantanen on the Ecliptics, Deep Roots of Vasilevsky, and Tage on the Portraits. Uh, we have a Kachuk, the Matt Murray on the Young Guns, and yep, Zach Benson on the Young Gun Canvas. So open up three cases, open up three of him. So the canvases are very, um, very similar. They've been like that for a while, but just something to keep in mind. And again, the cropping's kind of similar to last year and series one where it's like, you kind of see the same young guns over and over again, but um, with a couple switched out, they're almost in like trios, I would say, or like groups of four. Fluorescence time. Copley, Walker, Dewar. Man, the red on red. Sick combo. Gannett on the honor roll. 
The reds aren't numbered. You get about four per case. We had one case that had five. The other one had four. But you should get four per case. I mean, it's the population count, like 500 is in the slot where we got the fluorescence yellow or gold or whatever parallel you want to call it in our other cases. Uh, Patterson, uh, Keller, and Ty Cartier. Hold his Young Gun exclusives in uh, the non-YouTube case, so I can spoil that one because you're not going to see that on video. Uh, sparkles of Skinner with a Konechny and a Gutman. Flyers and Chicago. Yeah, so far it feels like Chicago might just be... I might do that free team thing with Chicago that I said at the top. Uh, Sam Carrick, Emil Andre, and Lafreniere. Lafreniere. I, honestly, I feel like that might be the way to go with this. Cause just like based off of it, you know, it kind of, it makes it more exciting if you have a non-Chicago team in the break. Um, and there's some, there's legitimately some big payoffs if you get a bad team too, right? Cause you could still end up with, you know, anything. Ooh, we got the glaring. So this replaces the monster season uh, card in the box of Crosby. What are your thoughts on this set? I'm very curious to see what people's thoughts are on this set. Honestly, I think if they made this like a 55 point card where the middle was just popped out a little bit, like slightly thicker, kind of like the um, the acetate young guns. And then so the top part would be like acetate and then the middle would be the foil with the eyes. I think those would have been so good. I think those would have absolutely popped. Uh, Patterson on the ecliptic and Dustin Wolf on the honor roll. But they're different. They're definitely very different. Kopitar with a Raphael Lavoie again. Second Lavoie and a Lucas. Hasn't lived up to the hype, Reichel. Granted, I was a large part of that hype, but I think he's still, I think there's still a player in there. Just a down year on a bad team. It happens. I'm still not panicking yet. Uh, Sorokin, Stamkos, and Brent Burns. Islanders, Bolts, and I think Burns is, yeah, Burns is Hurricanes, right? Yeah. The blue background on that messes me up, but yeah, it's Hurricanes. Uh, I guess I, yeah, I didn't flip the pack over. Tyler Toffoli for the Flames, Barzell, and Walker Dewar. On the uh, Youngkins. And we are at a lot of uh, a lot of top loaders. I think I've had enough. I hope I have enough because I don't have that much more left. <laughs> uh, Kyle Connor for the Jets, Elias Lindholm for the Flames, and Coronado for the Flames. And last pack of this box. Let's see what's hiding. Oh, there we go. Instinctive Gold of Vili Huso. These are one in every 480 packs, so super short print insert. Well, I guess it's a short print, not a super short print, but short print insert. Nice one there for the Red Wings. Probably not gonna have a ton of hobby value, but still a cool pull. Merzlikens and Beecher. They did definitely up their foil game a lot over the past little bit, so cool to see from a collecting standpoint. box still no bedard uh still no mintukov and still no korchinski so not sweating yet we'll sweat when we get to like the last three boxes 
Could you imagine if we pull one in back-to-back -back boxes though? Like, none till box 11 and then box 11 and 12 both have Bedard. Or like, you don't pull a single Bedard in the case, but the last pack has an outburst one of one and you're just like, ah, that, that makes sense. Uh, Giroux on the Dazzlers, Forsberg with a Walteri Morello for Tampa Bay. Morello, Giroux for the Senators. Yeah, definitely some like edge issues on the Dazzlers. But again, that sometimes happens with foil cards. The foil just doesn't adhere properly or gets bumped a little bit. The young guns for the most part seem okay, and that's honestly like at the end of the day, that's the main part that matters. Kairu with the Milano and a Ryan Nugent Hopkins. So blues, caps, oilers. Highlighters orange of Giroux. So these are one in every two uh every two cases. Yellow is the most common one, which are one in every case. Uh, Jake Allen and a Pusha. I think I, I can't remember if it's Pusha or not. Now that I think about it, um, but it might be Patia. I gotta look that name up again after after this. I forgot to look it up today. I meant to. How do you pronounce it? Ecliptic of Caulfield, Deep Roots of Gallagher, and Peltier. Almost had the triple uh, triple team there. And if we do, I'll uh, throw in an overtime pack for that person. And if we get in Series 1 or Series 2. Frederick, Jackson Lacombe, Brian Rust. Just making sure the stream's good. Uh, hopefully it's okay for everyone. PCs of Panarin, Fluorescence of Ole Eriksson Ek, and Honor Roll of Walker Dewar. Ooh, I like that they did, uh, cause he's got the two last names, they did OEE, -E. OEE. The best one is uh, Eunice Kopanen. Or you not? I think it's you not coping in, um. Because his initials are JK, so it's just JK all down the back. Askarov is yeah, it's yeah yeah yeah. Uh, Kemper, Kraus, Ludwig. Ludwig is a defenseman with some offensive upside, some top four potential, um, but not like any superstar potential in my opinion, or even like star. Probably just a very good defender. If he hits. Sparkles, Olmark, Zegris on the canvas, and Jason Robertson on the portraits. Got another outburst coming up here. Goudreau, uh, Mason Lowry, biggest boomer bus young gun in the product, and a Hishier on the outburst silver. Have we pulled? We've only pulled one outburst young gun. So. We still need a clear cut young gun. We probably still need another deluxe and another exclusives. Like probably just base at this point. Um, still need an outburst. Still need a Bedard. Still need a uh, Mintukov. Monster season. McDavid versus the Rangers. Yeah, that MSG photo goes hard. Uh, Keller and Edvinson on the ecliptic and honor roll. That one in the gold. Oof. How many numbered cards have we gotten? I think only the two, right? And or no, uh, four if you count the population count. So we should have just two more numbered cards left, based off of like how the breaks have gone so far. Did you know? Well, how about that, Connor Bedard, first one. A little bit, if we're being really picky about the condition, there's some minor chipping in the top. I don't think it grades out as a 10. Probably going to get a 9, but there he is.
Add him to the pile with a Kadri for the Flames. Well, he was well protected there between Janot and Kadri. All right. Now you don't have to sweat because you've got your one. But now it's just like, okay, I want the second one. Vasilevsky, Marchand, and Levi. I want the second one now. Here we go. Uh, Crosby on the Dazzlers, instinctive of Jari, and Tyler Engel. On the young guns. Well, Columbus is at least a volume team. I don't think we fit Svozil yet, actually. Now that I think about it. And same thing on the Crosby Dazzlers. The bottom isn't the best. It happens. Again, mass-produced products, you're going to have issues as much as, like, as frustrating as it is. Like, no one wants to have the issues in pack. Zegers on the Sparkles, Marchenko for the Blue Jackets, and Luke Hughes for the Devils. All right, like if you had a choice between, if you're just like a card company, would you rather have issues or not? Like, you would rather, uh-oh, it's an Outburst Red, but it's not, it's not a Young Gun. But it's Philip Deneau to 25. Outburst Red for the Kings. Well, not the first red you're looking for in this set, but still a really cool card. So. Really cool card. Um, Let's just add another stand. Uh, Hart and Hugh McGing. That brings us, we might get an extra numbered card then. PCs of Kaprizov, Carlson for the Capitals on the Deep Roots, and McAvoy for the Bruins. Alrighty. Man, could you imagine if that was a Bedard Red Outburst? I know one's been pulled so far, but Kempa with a Billy Sweezy and a William Dufour. Well, hey, when your predictions are on, they're on. AKA, you've seen the same Young Gun crop in the canvas set three times. One second. There we go. Uh, Bennington with a Luke Hughes on the fluorescence. That is arguably the best one to get. That's a pretty good one, especially the red on red. Love to see it. Super nice looking card. Uh, minimal chipping. So, and Lacombe. 
I love the fluorescences this year. They're so nice. They went from like really cheesy, like really nice to really cheesy back to really nice. Marner for the Leafs, Deep Roots of Nylander, and Connor Zary. Good young gun. Good young gun there. All right. So that leaves just Mintukov and Korchinski left in the top, top seven. Instinctive Sparkles of Shesterkin, Dylan Trum for the Capitals, and William Dufour for the Islanders. Let's keep it rolling. Uh, Pizzetta for the Habs, Svozil with a Thomas Novak in behind it. Tommy Novak got a nice three, what, three or 3.3 .3 million dollar contract extension recently. Oh, second glaring, Drew Doughty for the Kings with a Soros Instinctive and a Pedersen Canvas, and that's a glaring. I want to see another goalie mask set, like one that just focuses solely on the um, what masks the goalie, like just their artwork and stuff. I haven't had one of those in a while. Uh, Instinctive Avanacek, Semeskovich, we haven't hit him yet. Also haven't hit Justin Sertov yet. But I like Semeskovich, almost cracked my top 10. And Dougie Hamilton, I think he'll end up being a top 10 young gun by the end of like the time. It's just like right now, probably not, and he's borderline in there. So it's pretty close after seven, I would say. Kucherov, Pedersen, and Bobby McMahon. All right, it's another third done. On to the final third. All right, let's see if we can add another Bedard to the collection. Be nice to see. Hopefully we see a deluxe and a um, exclusives. It'd be really nice if those stayed consistent, but. I know first red's also nice, so. Instinctive of Mad Sogard, Michael Backlund on the black and white canvas. Is that just a, I think that corner, yeah, that corner is a little bit rough there. Yeah, the top one. And De Noye. Base on the rest. Ryan Reeves, Thomas Hurdle, Matt Tompkins. Uh, I should have enough, right? Yeah. Just double checking the uh, the top loader situation. And again, as a reminder, there were eight spots left at last check on the um, on the clear cut break. So that break, if it fills tonight, we'll break it tonight. Um, but when it fills, we will break it. Crosby on the PC, Sparkles, Vasilevsky on the canvas, and Panarin for the Rangers. Make sure one second. So eight spots left in that at last check. Again, that one has a couple of potential giveaways in it if it fills by Friday. Ooh, fluorescence blue, Hugh McIng. These are 50? 
Yeah, 43 of 50. Man, the blue on blue looks sick. Look, man, when you ever you get a good color match on a card like this, so nice. Is he the best player? No. Is it a cool card? Yep. Um, we'll kind of put it up here. I don't know. It looks cooler to me than the Stevenson. Uh, Skinner and Ryan Shea. So, technically, that brings us to one, two, three, four, five, six numbered cards. So I'm curious to see if we'll get any more. But maybe it's like you get one numbered fluorescence per case. Uh, Kyle Connor, Nathan McKinnon, and Sean Farrell. Jets, Avs, Habs. Uh, Bohorvat, Solovyov, and a Lekanen. Solovyov is for the Flames. Lekanen is for the Avs. Horvat is for the Islanders. It's still kind of weird to say. I'm having a good year. Oh, we got our other outburst young gun here. Robertson, Fraser Minton, and Walker Dewar. You could do worse. Could do worse. I think he's like kind of right at that straddling that middle of the pack line, probably in the 30s though. And probably put him in like the 35-ish range for the set, 30 to 35, just top of my head. Uh, probably like 30, 35 is actually like probably bang on, close to. This pack seems upside down. Oh, because the Farabee is upside down. Uh, Monster Season of McDavid versus the Yotes. Instinct of Avili Husso and Aiden McDonough for the Canucks. So there's only going to be 10 McDavid Monster Seasons base ones with the one gold one. Uh, a couple upside down base cards. Here we go. Jason Robertson. There's a Korchinski with a Mason McTavish. So far, two randoms to do. I have the canvas checklist and the young gun checklist. We'll see if it stays the same way. So I think it's just Mintukov left in the top. Uh, Clayton Keller, Deep Roots of Barkov, Brock Faber on the honor roll. Philip Grubauer on the Dazzlers, Austin Watson and Ty Cartier. Uh, and soft bottom on that guy. I should say that it's, it's the card's been charmed. It's got a soft bottom. There's Cartier. I think he's got some. Cartier's got some real potential. Uh, Ecliptic sparkles of Brain Point. McDavid for the Oilers on the canvas and Sfilzil. On the honor roll. All right. Two boxes to go. Two boxes to go. Serial number 04 on this guy. All righty. Oh, 
we got our clear cut young gun coming up here. Uh, it is Liam O'Brien, Minnesota, which isn't a great sign. Damon Hunt. Uh, not the worst Minnesota guy to get. Luke Hughes on the portraits. Uh, we'll just put that in the pile there. And yeah. That was not a great clear cut to get, but not the worst at the same time. Could have done a lot worse. Uh, Instinctive of Demko, uh, Nugent Hopkins, and there is Zerdoff. So maybe we'll get Minty here. Maybe we'll get Minty Kov here. Uh, Bo Horvat, Matthew Kachuk, and Sean Farrell. Horvat is the gold sparkle, or not the gold sparkle, just the regular ecliptic sparkle. Pink Dazzlers, Fajnikov for the Hurricanes, Kachekov, and hey, there's a second Korchinski. So not the Chicago player you're hoping to get two of, but also not going to say no to getting two of him type of thing. All right. Ecliptic of Matthews, Deep Roots of Logan Couture, and Nesterenko on the honor roll for the Ducks. Jack Hughes with a Ryan Shea and a Matty Beniers on the canvas with Fish. I want to see another base parallel. But this case has definitely been the weirdest of the ones that I've opened up. PCs of Crosby, Ty Emerson with a Dennis Garyanov on the outbursts. Huh, the outbursts are also actually, now that I think about it, pretty similar to one of the other cases because we got Gensel, we got Garyanov in it. So, but the young guns are definitely different. Uh, Mr. McDavid on the monster season, ecliptic of Braden Point and Desnoyers for the Flyers. I think after this week, the McDavid monster seasons are just going to get like their own little pile and group together, but we'll see. Uh, Shesterkin, Damian Drew, and a Tom Wilson. Tom Wilson angry. Tom Wilson used a roar. It was super effective. Uh, Zegris, Ekblad, Eichel, uh, Ducks, Panthers, Vegas. Dazzlers, Kuznetsov with a Maroon and a Clay Stevenson. I don't think we actually pulled the base Clay Stevenson, so. Hey, if our only actual, I guess, no, I guess we have the Dano as another base parallel. Um, I was going to say, if our only actual base parallel is a uh, Young Guns, I, I'd take that. I think you take a Young Guns base parallel over like a vet base parallel. So last pack of box 11. I feel like we haven't got Mintukov yet for some reason. Sparkles of Sogard, Zabanjad, and Aiden McDonough. I feel like we haven't pulled them. Also, I have no idea why I put Ty Emerson in the... Uh, in this pile. Yeah, he's not. 
we haven't really doubled up on any of the big young guns. Which is kind of wild. Like, Korchinski is the only one we've doubled up on. So. We have had some really, like, cool other pulls. But I'll be curious to see if we get another numbered card or if it's just six numbered cards per case. Because we're at six. So. Be very curious. All right. Got our clear cut young guns. I don't really think we have anything case hit style left. We should have another monster season because the odds of you getting three glaring in a case are very low. As in like not gonna happen. Uh, Georgiev, well, Leo Carlson doubled up on the duck. But maybe I put Mintikov in the wrong pile. I don't know. Jared Spurgeon. Maybe he'll be in this box. But I feel like we haven't pulled him for some reason. McDavid on the PCs, Drysdale on the uh, Deep Roots, and Kairou for the Blues. Next young gun, Dazzlers of Philip Gustafson, uh, Mark Del Geizo after uh, Matthew Olivier, director of boards. It also seems like you get one of the uh, like gold sparkle boys per case. All right. Uh, PCs of Tage, the Sweeney, and a Sean Farrell. Yep, that makes sense. On the Young Gun canvas. What time is it? 5.40? All right, so yeah, five. It'll be closer to 5.50 then, I guess. And a little bit slower of a pace than what I was expecting, but that's okay. I had a little bit of an interruption there. I'm going to blame it on that. Uh, Shakai, Omark on the clear cut, Ridley Gregg. Base on the rest. All right. Grubauer. With a deep roots of William Carlson and a Manti Paolo. I don't think we hit him yet. I don't remember, but I don't think we hit him yet. PC Sparkles of Eichel, Duclair for the Panthers, and Marilinen for the Senators. There's our highlight. Okay, that's what we had. Fisher for the Yotes on the highlighters yellow. Konechny and Matt Murray. And now it's going to drive me crazy if we actually pulled a uh, Mintukov. I'm just going to try and crank through the last few packs here. Then we'll do the randoms and we'll do the recaps. So if you're here for the next break, probably another 15 minutes. Tage Thompson, Malkin, and Kucherov. So six o'clock start. Maroon on the uh, director of boards, Sparkles, McAvoy, and Matt Murray. The... Stars Matt Murray, the rookie Matt Murray. PCs, oh, there's a card stuck here. PCs of Drysdale, Walker Dewar, and Wyatt Johnson, Johnston. 
on the outburst. All right, last pack. Gonna have to see if we hit a minty cough. The good news is that at least Anaheim hit two of theirs, but uh, Monster Season of McDavid with a McCann and an Owen Beck. Maybe I just put it in the wrong pile. I don't, I don't remember pulling one though, but all right, we'll do the randoms. Then we'll do a recap and then I just need to clean up a little bit and then we can move on to the next, uh, next break. Let's do this, this, this. That was not a good case by any means in terms of like what you're hoping to get. We got some cool stuff, but um, all right. So we'll do Vancouver, Edmonton, um, Chicago, LA, or Chicago, Anaheim. Let's go ahead and do get this set up here. Fan, fan, EDM, EDM. Chicago, Chicago, Anna, Anna. All right, here we go. Three times, team on top gets it. Once, twice, third time. Vancouver on that one. Uh, let's paste that over one more. Uh, checklist all right let's go back to here three times once twice third time chicago chicago gets the young gun checklist all right so quick little recap time um is there anything in here really worth recapping not really program of excellence of simone gagne um those were both randoms got our monster seasons those aren't really worth recapping uh fluorescence wise we got uh luke hughes ole erickson eck walker dewar and matt murray on the base ones uh in terms of i guess good young guns we got two leo carlson's two korchinski's one zary one benson one patra and then one bedard um in terms of parallels one Damon Hunt clear cut, one Walker Dewar outburst, and one Emerson outburst. In terms of other cool short print stuff, Fisher highlighters, which are one per case. That's a yellow version. Uh, glaring of Doughty, highlighters orange of Giroux. Those are about one in every two cases. Instinct of gold uh, of Vili Huso. These are about one in 480 boxes or packs, sorry. Uh, glaring of Crosby, which are getting a little bit rare. Point on the... Population count 1,000. Gretzky and Bossy on the retired canvas. Caulfield on the population count 500. And then that kind of leads us to our top hits. Um, I mean, the Bedard's always going to be one of the top hits of the break. So we'll just kind of put them to the side early just because value-wise, obviously the best. Uh, but we're going to go for coolness factor here. So we'll go in like fifth place. The Humic Ing uh, Fluorescence Blue to 50. Cool looking card. Uh, we'll do the clay. No, we'll do the Philip Deneau next. In the red outburst, I just like the cards. Number to twenty-five, always cool. Um, we'll do the Monster Season of McDavid next to one fifty-three. And cool looking card. Uh, Clay Stevenson, Young Guns Deluxe two fifty. Again, I think sleeper Young Gun. Always good to get a Young Gun parallel. But uh, coolest card of the break, my favorite hit of the break is going to be the Maurice Richard uh, black and white canvas. Just, I think, perfect photo for it. Perfect, like, style for the card. So that is group break 411, 412 coming up next.